The Greenbrier in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And because it's maintained its iconic pop culture status since 1778, it's safe to say that America's resort is an American institution. Well, we here at 300 West Main Street also have an iconic treasure, and his name is Frank Mosley. He's been serving ladies and gentlemen here at the Greenbrier since 1959, and he was kind enough to share his story with us. I worked on the railroad 10 years before I come here. I got cut off on the road, didn't get fired, I got cut off, didn't have enough seniority. I was looking for work. The man had repossessed my car. I had a little 55 Chevrolet. The man had repossessed it and took it back. You know, I wasn't ashamed to tell it. I didn't have no money to pay him. The payment was $30 a month. I was three months behind, wasn't even 100 bucks, but I didn't have it. So I was looking for work, so I bought my brother's car and I drove from Thurman to White Suffer, I seen this big building. I didn't know about the Green bro. I said, well, they got to be I'm not. sorry, wait a second. Are you saying you drove your brother's car? You didn't know, you just saw this giant building just on the road? I saw that giant building. And I <laughs> drove my brother's car up here, and I walked in that personnel office, and, I, and the lady said, may I help you? I said, yeah, I'm looking for a job. She said, we don't have no openings. Get out of here. And she said, in a nice way. Right. So I left, got in my brother's car, and drove all the way back to Thurman. The next morning, I drove right back up here. I just decided that big as that place was, they got to have something for somebody to do something. And I went, came back the second day. I walked in the office. She said, I told you yesterday that we didn't have no openings. Okay. I walked out the door. And the third day, I drove another 100 miles and came back to that personnel office, walked in the door. She looked at me, said, I told you two days ago that we didn't have no work. I said, thank you. Started at the door. She said, wait just a few minutes. I got a temporary job open. Say, if you want his job, when he come back, out you go. Say, he might be here tomorrow, he might be next week, he might be, but whenever he come back, I'm done. When Ira come back, didn't nobody tell me to leave, what would you done? I learned to be patient. Because if I had to just give up, I never would have had this job here. I didn't give up. But I was a bus boy for a long time. Long and time it, meaning, we're talking 10 years, five years? Maybe, maybe eight years. Eight years. And okay. then Ish. I moved up to a waiter. I was a waiter a long, oh, maybe about 10 years. Never so been. you're in the main dining room, eight years, then what happens? The work got kind of heavy. Got it. So I was looking for something a little more lighter, and that's when I went out on the door and took what we call, I'm just a greeter now. I just stand over the door for the guests, don't do a whole lot of lifting. At my age, I'm what, 80, what, 84, 85, I done lost track. <laughs> and I, so awesome. now I just stand around and talk to the guests and greet them. You moved to the door in the late 60s? Early 70s. Early 70s. And I was a doorman then. I, I'd worked pretty hard then. Yep, you really are an institution. I don't know if that, I don't know if that makes you feel funny or not, it, it, but people- the truth, I, I wonder about that. See, I was brought up poor with nothing. So I don't feel like I'm a celebrity, but a lot of people tell me that. A lot of guests say, you're a celebrity. I saw you on Facebook. I saw you on Facebook. I saw you on TV. I said, well, if that's the way you feel about it, that's fine. <laughs> but I, I just feel natural. There's one thing my dad told me years ago that I'll never forget. He said, son, when you grow up, what I want you to do is treat a man like you want to be treated in life and you'll get along. That's what, and that's what I try to do. Everybody, I don't care what it is, big shots, little shots, used to be, want to be, I treat everybody alike. That way you have no problem. Do your job, be on time, and respect your elders. What has the Green Briar meant to you? I'll tell you the truth, it means a lot to me. I raised all my children, I raised my family here, and I have no regrets whatsoever. I have, it, it, it's no way in the world I could even thank them for taking, for keeping me here so long. I cannot thank them enough. Right. I'll be true with you. Yeah, I've been here 50, what, 57, 58? Yeah, 57, almost. And I have been off three days. You have to love what you do. You have to love people to work out for. I see thousands of people a day. Thank you, Frank. A Greenbrier Institution, Frank Mosley. <laughs> our thanks to Mr. Mosley for his time today and for his unwavering dedication to our guests. I'm Eric Hastings. Thank you for watching.